हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सम सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विथ सुपर इजी एक्सप्लेनेशन सॉल एग्जाम्पल्स एंड ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बैंक I have attached a complete OS playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss one of the most important topic that is optimal page replacement algorithm with Sol examples. Let's start the session. So previously, we have already discussed all the subjects in detail with examples as well practical demonstration. Please share this playlist with your friends. That will be helpful for your university exam. gate exam or also interview purpose please share my channel and also subscribe it now in today's session we will first discuss what exactly optimal page replacement algorithm sol example and important question bank we have already discussed fifo page replacement algorithm with sol example and lru page replacement algorithm with sol example in our previous session these all topics are important for your exam point of view I have attached link of this video also in below description box so please refer it accordingly let's first discuss what exactly optimal page replacement algorithm as we discussed earlier in operating system there are total two types of memory main memory and secondary memory main memory means ram in your system and this ram has limited size limited capacity operating system use main memory for execution purpose and secondary memory is used for storing purpose operating system cannot place all your complete program complete your procedure at a same time in main memory they stored all the data in secondary memory right but sometimes what happen cpu demanding the page number 4 but currently this main memory is full there is no vacant space available for page number 4 for execution purpose so when your ram is full at that time optimal page replacement algorithm have used optimal page replacement algorithm replace the page that will not be used longest time in future basically they replace one of the page in main memory that move to secondary memory and they make a free space available for new procedure new program for the execution as compared to other page replacement algorithm optimal page replacement algorithm generate minimum number of page fault as we discussed earlier suppose cpu demanding the particular page and page is present in main memory which is called page hit and suppose particular demanding page is not present in main memory which is called page fault now optimal page replacement algorithm is not used in real system because operating system cannot predict the future page references right so this is the unrealistic algorithm that have used just for comparison purpose now let understand this algorithm with sol examples now see here in this particular example this kind of example generally asked in your university exam as well as gate exam so in this example two things are given reference string and frame size reference string means cpu demanding all these pages one by one for execution and frame size is equal to 3 now you have to find out total hit total fault hit ratio and miss ratio so this kind of question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks in your exam let's see how to solve it so first step is you have to draw this kind of table assume that this is a random access memory in your system on left side there are total 3 frames because frame size is equal to 3 right so there are total 3 frame frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 and top of the table reference string is given as it is this is your given string right now cpu demanding page number 7 page number 7 currently not present in main memory right so when particular page not present in main memory which is called page fault so operating system fetch 7 from secondary memory to main memory for execution got it next page 0 so page 0 again not present in main memory means page fault so 7 is as it is as per the previous page 
now operating system added page 0 next cpu demanding page 1 so page 1 currently not present in main memory means page fault now 7 and 0 as it is and operating system added 1 here for execution next page 2 so page 2 is not present in main memory means page fault now check here now this ram size is full there is no space for page 2 for execution so at this particular condition optimal page replacement algorithm concept have used so optimal page replacement algorithm is work on future page references how see here now see operating system want to add page 2 for execution now check here how many pages are there 3 7 0 1 now you have to check from 2 which one is the last page for execution? See, after 2, 0 is there. Then again, a 1 is there. And lastly, 7 is present. Right? Means operating system will execute 7 lastly. That's why this is called future reference page. So, at that time, you have to replace 7 with 2. And remaining data as it is. Next, page 0. Page 0 already present in main memory for execution. So, when particular page is already present, which is called page hit. And write down data as it is. 2, 0, 1. Next is page 3. So, page 3 currently not present in main memory. Means page fault. Now, check with the future reference page from this place. So, previously 2, 0, 1 is present. Okay. So, after 3 check here. 0 is there. 2 is there. But at the last 1 is present. Right. You have to check the last 1. So, lastly 1 is present. So, basically you have to replace 1 with 3. And remaining data as it is. Now, next page 0. So, page 0 already present in main memory. Right. Means page hit. And write down this data as it is now next one is page 4 so page 4 is not present in main memory right means page fault is occur now check with the future reference page see so page 2 0 3 so after 4 2 is present 3 is present and at the last 0 is present right means 0 will used lastly so at that time replace 0 with 4 and remaining data as it is okay so basically you have to replace the page which is lastly used or we can say future reference page next page 2 so page 2 already present in main memory right so when page 2 is already present which is called page hit and write down this data as it is like 2 4 3 next page 3 so page 3 also already present in main memory here right then again page hit and write down this data as it is. Now, next one is page 0. Check here. Page 0 not present in main memory. So, when particular page is not present, which is called page fault. Now, check with the future reference page from this part only. Okay. Now, see here. 2, 4, 3. So, after 0, 2 is present. 3 is also present. But 4 is not present. It means that 4 is no longer used for execution. Right? So, at this particular condition, when particular page is not available in future, so at that time you have to replace that page. So, 4 is replaced with 0 and remaining data as it is. Next one is CPU demanding page 3 for execution. So, page 3 is already present in main memory, which is called page hit. And write down 2, 0, 3 as it is. Next, CPU demanding page 2. So, page 2 again already present in main memory means page hit and write down this data as it is. Next one is page 1. Now, check here. Page 1 currently not present in main memory which is called page fault. Now, check with the future reference page. See, 2, 0, 3. So, after 1, 2 is present, 0 is present but 3 is not available in future right so now you have to replace 3 with 1 and remaining data as it is now next one cpu demanding page 2 and page 2 is already present in main memory 
then which is called page hit and write down this data as it is like 201 next cpu demanding page 0 and page 0 again present in main memory for execution so this is called page hit and write down as it is 201 okay next one page 1 so page 1 again present in memory already so again which is called page hit and write down data as it is 201 okay now the last one cpu demanding page 7 for execution now check here page 7 currently not present in main memory now after 7 starting from this part only okay check 201 which one is the last one first zero then one then two right means operating system replace two with seven and remaining data as it is right so in this way you have to solve this example basically just replace the page with the future one now next how many hits and faults are there so total hits are nine c one two three four five six seven eight nine total nine hits and total faults are also 9 now you have to find out the hit ratio the formula is number of hits divided by total number of references so number of hits are 9 total number of references means how many strings are there so there are total 18 strings so 9 divided by 18 into 100 equal to 50% so obviously fault ratio is also 50% 50% hit ratio 50% fault ratio right So in this way you have to solve this example step wise. Now as per the previous year question paper they have asked the question combinedly like apply fifo lru and optimal algorithm on this given string and frame size is given for 6 marks. And again here fifo lru optimal means 2 marks each basically. And this question asked for 8 marks. and this is one of the compulsory question in your exam so practice it and prepare accordingly so thank you this is all about page replacement algorithm keep subscribe the channel thank you